When it comes to the U.S. economy, there's a lot to unpack. It's the world's largest by nominal GDP and second only to China when we look at purchasing power parity PPP. The U.S. holds a major chunk of the global economy, 26% to be exact. The U.S. dollar isn't just paper, it's the most widely used currency in international transactions and serves as the world's reserve currency. Think of it as the currency everyone wants to have in their back pocket. But what drives this economic giant? High productivity, a well-developed transportation infrastructure, and a treasure trove of natural resources. The U.S. is also home to the world's largest internal market and has a significant influence in global trade. It's the top importer and the second largest exporter. Plus, it's got some of the world's biggest companies. 121 of the Fortune 500 are based here. Even though the U.S. is an economic powerhouse, not everything is perfect. Income inequality is high, with a significant gap between the rich and the poor. The country has free trade agreements with many nations, and its economy is flexible, allowing businesses to adapt quickly to change. However, this also means job security can be shaky for workers. Now, let's dive into five dirty secrets about the U.S. economy that you're not supposed to know. People often say fixing the economy is as impossible as teleporting to Jupiter. But guess what? It's not. It's actually pretty straightforward. The U.S. is a rich country, but for many, it's starting to feel like a poor one. Infrastructure is crumbling, schools aren't doing their job, and healthcare is a mess. While other developed countries are investing in renewable energy, the U.S. is sticking with the old, dirty stuff. The solution? Invest in public goods like education, health care, and infrastructure. By doing so, not only will jobs be created, but there'll be jobs that actually make a difference. You might have heard that the economy is recovering, but that's not the full story. The rich are getting richer, and the average person is getting poorer. The U.S. is slowly becoming a caste society, with deep divisions between the rich and the poor. The only way to fix this is by investing in basic goods and services that lift everyone up, not just the wealthy. When people ask, where will the money come from? The answer is simple. It doesn't really matter. The U.S. can print it, borrow it, or tax the super rich who aren't doing much with it anyway. If the country doesn't invest in public goods, it won't prosper, and if it doesn't prosper, paying off existing debts will be even harder. The real debate shouldn't be about where the money comes from, but about making sure it's invested in the right places. Here's a fun fact. The so-called experts and pundits don't want you to know that fixing the economy is actually pretty simple. If you knew how easy it was, they might be out of a job. For years, they've been shocked that the economy is still broken. If your doctor kept saying that, wouldn't you get a second opinion? Maybe it's time we do the same with the economists and pundits. We don't live fulfilling lives by buying more stuff or watching our society crumble around us. True prosperity comes from building things that matter like strong communities, accessible health care, and quality education. The greatest achievements aren't the latest apps or the biggest corporations. They are societies where every life counts and everyone can live fully. The U.S. economy is a mixed bag, powerful and influential, yet riddled with issues. But fixing it isn't as impossible as you might think. By focusing on what really matters, investing in public goods, reducing inequality, and ensuring that everyone has a chance to prosper, we can create a stronger, more resilient economy that works for everyone. So let's stop pretending it's impossible and start making the changes that really matter.